Hey guys, King Jad here with a brief little video for you guys about Phil's copyright claim drama situation. Some people are dismissing it as fake news Phil trying to manufacture to try and make up for some slow streaming days he's had recently, where he's only gained like $400 in tips within the last three days. For most people that'd be a fucking good three days, but for Phil it's not. Phil, that's a disaster. But, uh, I want to kind of squash the fucking nonsense that copyright claims did not happen to Phil Burnell. They did happen, we can find this out very easily. Um, we, well, we've got to, we know of one of them anyway beforehand from February, the 4th of February to be exact, where a user called Ray Collins appeared to copyright strike, and Phil confirmed the details of it being from his intro they made recently. Um, here is the what happens when you try and use PigPigGo to pull up a video for the podcast, any podcasts done in February for example. The first 12 of them were claimed by Ray Collins. From February 1st, to February 12th, all of them have this message, the video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Ray Collins. Something interesting happens though when you try and go to, well, it's the first 11 days essentially. So February 11th, copyright claim by Ray Collins. February 12th, removed by the uploader. So Phil looks like he's privatised all of his podcasts that contain the intro after February 11th. The first 11 days, as I said, claimed by Ray Collins. Everything after that, containing the intro, has seemingly been privatised. I know it says the video's been removed by Uploader, but I feel like Phil would not delete his co content again. He wouldn't go down that road again of trying to mass delete a bunch of his footage in case it tanks his, you know, system thing. You know, I mean, you know, he's gone down that road before in 2015 when he mass deleted a bunch of content and he regretted it big time. But uh, you can see here in DSP Gaming as well, you check his uh, lists of videos and you got the usual kind of garbage content here and here, podcast, podcast, whatever. But after everything before March the 8th doesn't appear in podcast form. You got daily crap, you got gameplay, but the podcasts go missing from February to the start of March. You scroll down, there's no fucking podcast, guys. See, there's nothing at all. Nothing at all for February for podcasts. But the next time they appear in Phil's channel is from January. So there you go, you get them back again in January. So, I just kind of thought I'd point that out. And uh, by the way, in case anyone's interested, the intro, I can actually pull this up. Um, if I get a link to it, where is it? Where did I see that intro? Ah, that's right, I sent it to Raven. They were on. Here we go. So, the intro. Let me actually skip by it because he, he screwed up the first time. Right, so this is the intro that's been claimed by the way. Good morning, everybody. Some technical difficulties this morning. Apologies for that. Trying to get this podcast started. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone today? I hope I find you well. Welcome to the pre-stream podcast. So, yeah, that, that was basically an intro. And I kind of thought Phil would actually talk about it because it's a new intro. That was a brand new intro. Although, to be fair, it was brand new on the 1st of February. This is the 4th of February one. The 4th of February was the only example I had beforehand. And I couldn't be arsed. He probably said, oh, we've got a brand new intro, fucking hurry for that, back in the 1st of February. Fact of the matter is, though, Phil has either privatised or deleted, probably privatised, the videos from this podcast from the 12th of February on to, I think, the 7th of March, would be fair to say. 7th of March, probably a good estimate, considering what appears, you know, on his, uh, on his channel. Yeah. 7th of March is probably a very good estimate, yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, so Phil has definitely been hit by corporate claims. That much is true. And it appears to be somebody called... Well, according to fucking this, some random called Ray Collins. No idea who the hell they are. But I just thought I'd point out to you guys, you know, it's, it has been hit by corporate claims as a real thing. And obviously it's come along a good time for Phil so he can use it to us. It's some pity money. Just some squeeze some money at his fancy and woe is me. My channel's at risk, I need to feed my family, all that jazz. I just thought I'd update you guys on that. Guys, Pig Pig Go archives things, keep in mind, they archive all these old links, it's like, it doesn't disappear. 
all the links to this stuff, even Phil, anything Phil privatizes, if it was on Pig Pig Go before, it will still be there. You just can't view the damn thing. That's just the way it goes. So even even though these this is not available to view anymore, the transcripts still exist in the Pig Pig Go database and so the links. Even if Phil removes it or tries to, you know, privatize it, we can still access it. Now, I'm, I'm not pointing that out to try and encourage anything. I want to make that perfectly clear. People do what they want to do. It's it's out there. It's, it's you know. It's, I don't encourage it. I don't. Uh, I don't condone it. You know. Or, uh, or I do condone it. Even no. Don't. I do condone it. Don't try and do something daft if you've got no right to. That's that's all I'm saying about that. You know. I'm all. I'm all for you know people being held accountable for their actions. You know. And if Phil has violated DMC claims, for example, and or or it deserves his age, you know, content to be age restricted, I'm all for that. Or you know, accountability is important, you know. But don't do anything dumb and stupid and it's like, oh I'm gonna false fucking claim shit. That's fucking dumb. Like just if you got a right to it, fucking fair enough, go for it. If this Ray Collins guy actually has a right to go after Phil for using his intro and he doesn't want him to. And if that's his intro, then fair enough, fucking power to you. But I, I point this out just for information purposes. Don't abuse a shit. But the links all exist on Pig Pig Go if you want to find any videos that have been either that may or may not be there anymore right now for public consumption for viewing because Phil's either removed them himself or privatised them himself or they could have been perhaps copyright claimed by somebody already as his first few podcasts were by the Stray Collins person. That's all I'm going to say about that, guys. Uh, yeah, this has been kind of yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. And remember, don't do anything fucking dumb, right? Just don't do false fucking shit. Don't pretend to be someone else or not. Don't, none of this false DMCA garbage crap. Hey guys, just fucking behave yourselves, alright? Catch you later.